In this video, we are going to begin looking at least common denominators and how we can find them with numbers to establish a pattern that we'll use when we get to rational expressions with polynomials. To find the least common denominator of numbers, we need to find the prime factorization, or a product of primes. that give us our number. Prime numbers are divisible by only one and themselves, such as 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. To find the least common denominator from this prime factorization, we will use all the factors in the prime factorization with highest exponents. Let's take a look at some examples where we can find prime factorizations and then the least common denominator. Here, we're considering the numbers 20 and 3. A good way to find the prime factorization is take the number 20 and start dividing out, upside down if you will, prime factors. 20 is divisible by 2 10 times. This is divisible by another prime factor. 2, 5 times, which is divisible by 5, 1 time. Once we divide down to a number of 1, the numbers on the side will make up the prime factorization. 2 times 2 times 5, or 2 squared times 5, gives us 20. Similarly, we will find the prime factorization of 36. 36 is divisible by the prime factor 2, 18 times, which is divisible by the prime factor 2, 9 times, which is divisible by the prime factor 3, 3 times, which is divisible by the prime factor 3, 1 time. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 is 36, or 2 squared times 3 squared. To find the least common denominator from these, we use all the factors that showed up. We have a 2, we have a 5, already covered 2, and we have a 3. Then I go back and I assign the highest exponent we see on any number. The highest exponent we see on a 2, we have a tie, is squared. The highest exponent I see on a 5, is 1, and the highest exponent on 3 is squared. Multiplying these out gives us 4 times 5 times 9, doing the exponents first, or 180 for the least common multiple or denominator of 20 and 36. Let's try another example where the prime factorization can tell us the least common denominator. First, let's find the prime factorization of the 18. 2 goes into 18 9 times, 3 goes into 9 3 times, and 3 goes into 3 1 time. Our prime factorization for 18 is 2 times 3 squared. 54, similarly, is divisible by 2 27 times, which is divisible by 3, 9 times, which is divisible by 3, 3 times, which is divisible by 3 once. This gives us 2 times 3 cubed. 81 is divisible by 3, 27 times, which is divisible by 3, 9 times, which is divisible by 3, 3 times, which is divisible by 3 once. 81 is 3 to the 4th power. To find our least common denominator, we take all the factors that showed up, 2 and 3. Notice the rest are just repeats. Taking the highest exponent on 2, there is none. Highest exponent on 3 is 4, and we can multiply this out to get our least common denominator, or a multiple, of 18, 54, and 81. Doing the exponent first, we have 2 times 81, which gives us 162 for the least common denominator. From the factorization, we use all factors with highest exponents.